Summer is here in Sydney and so is the tropical water. We've got that East Australian current coming down and it's starting to bring in a few pelagic species, which is awesome to see, namely Benito. Uh, super abundant, see them everywhere at the moment, especially when the water is this clear, like it has been the last few weeks, which has been amazing. So with these guys that I got recently, I decided to do sort of a vinegar pickle. Uh, it's like white wine vinegar, olive oil, mix that through. Um, also added in some native pepper berries and some native thyme, which worked really well. Um, super stoked with the pepper berry. It added this like pink hue to the vinegar, which I didn't expect at all. Super happy with how this pickle turned out but I am already making some changes to it to upgrade it and just take it to that next level. So I'll go through some of that later on. This is the dry edge setup right here. You can see this guy hanging. Um, I leave him in there. I dry edge most of my fish, but the bonito I've been leaving in there for like two to three days. Um, make sure it's super clean before it goes in. As long as you bleed them and clean them well in the water or after you dive, should be all good to go. some of that beautiful clear water I was talking about that we've been having recently. So it's looking pretty good. I'm impressed. We have a follow shot there through the back, unfortunately. But I'm just to get him at least. So I'm just going to start by taking the head off the fish just here. It sort of helps, I find, just to chunk up the body. This here is like the bloodline that you get above the gut cavity. I'm just going to scoop that out with a spoon and then uh, wipe that onto some paper towel there. You want to get this out and you want to get this off the fish. Like this is what will go bad and make the fish no good. Just a little extra clean up there, a few little pieces left in the gut. So just coming down, just like any fish along that backbone, uh, slicing down, opening it up at the top, and then running the knife down those spine bones there. Bonito are quite soft. I find the dry edging process actually helps to firm them up quite a bit. You can flip the fish over at this point to do the other side, but as it's quite soft, I just found it easier to start it off like that while I could see the spine in front of me. Spine's gonna go into a, a bowl and mix in with all the other bits and we can make a stock or a broth or something later on out of that. I'm gonna slide the knife in under the rib bones, slice them out, tidy up any other little bits left on the fish. So this step can be a little bit fiddly. Um, you wanna go through with tweezers and take out each of the pin bones. Pretty good on the Bonito, they are quite big unlike some other fish where they're quite small and it can be very, very fiddly. But being the flesh is quite soft as well, they do seem to come out quite easy. So you'll see a few of these here. These are huge, like full-blown needles. Pulling these out is gonna help you to get much more usable chunks of fish, especially when you're doing something like this uh, pickling. those rib bones out again on the other side of the fish. Clean up any little bits that are hanging off and again, take out those pin bones. It's 
So here I'm just slicing the fillet up uh, and laying them all out in the dish. I'm doing it differently now, um, chunking it up a bit more, keeping it as a decent slab and then pickling that entire thing. And it does give it a nice gradient to the meat. It's like a smoke ring from a smoker, but instead it's like the meat cooking from the vinegar. So here I'm doing basically one-to-one -one ratio of white wine vinegar and olive oil. Give it a little stir and then we're gonna pour that over the fish. Now, I would next time as well salt the fish before doing all of this, just so the fish can sit with a bit of salt on it and it can really sort of soak in rather than it sort of sitting just amongst the oil. So that's the pepperberry going on there native thyme as well. Typically the Spanish dish traditionally made with anchovies is done for up to 12 hours but um, if you don't have the time I found six hours is still pretty good. As you can see the little chunks have gone white and it's the vinegar basically cooking the meat. The other thing I have uh, started doing differently now as well is to blowtorch the skin. Um, you can also maybe pan fry the skin, especially if you leave it in that bigger chunk. Um, that's part of the beauty of leaving it in that bigger chunk. It allows you to cook the skin in some capacity. Um, the skin is edible when it's not cooked, but I found when you cook it in some way, it just makes it that little bit easier to eat and people don't find it so stringy or chewy. This guy that I got recently as well got some super cool marks on him. I'm wondering if it was from a squid or something that he had to fight at some point. Uh, these little rings that look like sucker marks. Absolutely awesome fish. You got this pectoral fin at the front which has a little groove that it sits in so they can be a little torpedo predator like screaming around the ocean. And those little tiny fins on the back that act like little rudders, little triangle rudders on the back there. Awesome fish. So again, like I showed before, that's that big chunk with the skin all together, not sliced up or anything, pickling as one big piece. So I've also started putting it on toast and this has been a game changer, an awesome way to serve it, especially if you're at a dinner party or something like that. You serve a little bowl of bread or toast next to it and people can just put it on and just eat it like little sliders or something like that. So this is that one I was talking about, that pepperberry that I put in there is going, is turning that vinegar a bit pink looks sick on the plate and you can also see these ones were done as a whole chunk so you can see that little cooked ring around the outside of the uh the fish there thanks for watching if you enjoyed it if you want to try it if you want to get yourself a bonito and have some pickled salt and vinegar bonito uh, get into it give it a try it's an awesome dish i'm really loving it at the moment especially through summer i can't wait to do this a bit more if you want to see some more videos like this Subscribe, there's plenty more where that came from.